And right now, back here at home, local firefighters are still on the scene of a large house fire in eastern Jefferson County because of hot spots, which are still flaming up tonight. This fire originally started this afternoon and continued to burn well after 6 o'clock. At the home in the 10,000 block of Ivy Bridge Circle, that's Springhurst, not far there from the Gene Snyder Freeway. 11 at 11, Maggie Ruper is live at the home from the scene tonight in Worthington with the latest details. Maggie? Yeah, Doug, well, firefighters just arrived back on scene here literally just minutes ago. I'll step out of the shot here to show you what they just got to work on. It appears that part of the roof there is smoking, and we do know that hot spots here at this house were giving firefighters some trouble earlier. Now, firefighters call this home a major loss, but they were able to stop the fire from spreading to nearby homes by spraying water on those structures. But actually getting water here did also appear to be a problem. From the sky, you could see smoke and flames swallow a family's home on Ivory Bridge Circle in Springhurst. Neighbors or walkers came and pounded on my front door. They said the house was down the street was on fire. The homeowner got out unhurt but watched on as the walls burned and the memories melted. It's, uh, it's a shame. They're, 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 they're older people, they kind of, they really got to be devastated. Within minutes, Worthington Fire responded, but the fire was so large, they called for backup from five other departments. It appears it started in the attic area somewhere up on the second level. Captain Kevin Jump says their biggest challenge turned out to be a water issue with the closest fire hydrant far down the street. We were taking what we could out of the, of the first hydrant, so we ended up uh, shutting down Springhurst Boulevard and uh, using a St. Matthews unit, we pulled a uh, second line, a second set of lines from uh, a hydrant out on Springhurst Boulevard. It took hours to put out all the flames and hot spots, but just minutes for destruction. Things can change. A good day can turn to a bad real quick. So again, here two Worthington fire trucks just arrived back on scene. Firefighters, they're working on the roof that just started smoking once again. Firefighters say they did have working smoke detectors in the home, but still no word on a cause here. Reporting live in Springhurst, Maggie Ruper, 11 at 11.